Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and today we're going to do some paper three or can show up on paper two type calculations. We're going to look at the GDP deflator. So this is a good opportunity to practice on your own and test your knowledge of this equation. I will be asking you to pause the video to make uh, a few calculations. And so let's go ahead and do this. So GDP deflator is part of macroeconomics. And there'll be a link to another video that explains this equation in a little bit more detail. Um, here we have in this box that you could get an exam years in this left column, 2019, 2020, 2021. And this is data for the United States, let's say. And in the next column where we have nominal GDP in billions of dollars and nominal GDP is GDP with uh, tracking production of output uh, at prices at which they're sold. So both prices and output are changing in nominal GDP. Here we have $21,372.57 billion in 2019, $20,893,074 billion in 2020, and $22,996.1 billion in 2021. We notice that in the nominal value has decreased from 21,000 to 20,000. So that could potentially be um, some aspects of reduced aggregate demand, uh, perhaps a little bit of uh, fall in, into a recessionary gap, and then it rises from 20,000 to 22,000. Okay, now the year is 2020, so likely the fall in this nominal GDP is due to the COVID pandemic, the lockdown, the reduced aggregate demand as people were mandated to stay at home and could not spend. GDP deflator, here we have values compared to a base year. The base year would be 100. And we're measuring the rate of inflation from that base year. Uh, in 2019, the deflator is 105. Then price is rising to 109 compared to that base year, then increasing to 118 compared to the previous base year. So a question on exam might be asking you to calculate, in this case, real GDP. So first thing to know is the GDP deflator. It's a formula and it's relatively uh, easy. GDP deflator is equal to nominal GDP divided by real GDP times 100. And what we notice here is, well, on, a, an, on an exam, they will give you two of the three variables to make this calculation. In this case, we can see that we have nominal GDP data and we have the deflator. We need to calculate the real GDP. So what we can do is we can switch these two values with some basic algebra. So if you've only gotten nominal and the deflator, then you can calculate real GDP is being equal to nominal GDP divided by the GDP deflator times 100. Okay, and that is what we have. So now that you have this equation, you can pause the video and go ahead and calculate real GDP for the year 2019. Please pause now. Okay, so you've paused and tried to work this out. Let's see if your workings matches with the correct answer for 2019. So here we have this first question, calculate real GDP for the US in 2019. So let's go ahead and plug in some numbers. So as I mentioned, real GDP, is equal to the nominal value, which we have here, which is 21,372.57 billion, 21,372.57 billion, divided by the deflator of 105 times 100. Okay? And that should work out to 203 
point fifty four eight two eight times one hundred, and then we get the final answer of twenty thousand three hundred fifty four point eight two eight. We'll put eight three. All right, we must provide uh, correct up to the second value, decimal value. And there we have our answer. So we go ahead and plug that in to this box. So it is, or we can, well, we know where it's gonna be in dollars, so I'll just take that out to have some more space. So here we have real GDP being 20,354.83 billion. Great, so we've calculated that. Now, I want you to calculate real GDP for the US in 2020. So we're gonna change it to calculate it for this year, 2020. So go ahead, pause the video and see if you can calculate real GDP for that year. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, now you've paused the video, let's check your work. So we are going to uh, use the data that we have to calculate real GDP. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have real GDP is equal to the nominal value of 20,893.74, 20,893.74 divided by the deflator 109.0 times 100. All right, and that should give you, that should be 191.68568 times 100. And that gives us 19,168.568. We'll round that up, 19,168.58. Billion, and that is the real GDP GDP value for 2020. So we'll, we'll fill in that column: ninety thousand one sixty-eight point fifty-seven billion dollars. And here we can see that prices are being held constant in real GDP. Price is constant. The only thing that's changing is the quantity of output. And we can see that the quantity of total output of final goods and services has decreased. So GDP has fallen. It seems like there's a recessionary gap. Again, 2020, due to the pandemic, reduced consumption, investment spending. During the pandemic, GDP falls. Next question. Let's calculate real GDP for 2021. Go ahead and pause the video and calculate real GDP. All right. So you have paused the video and made your calculations. Let's check your work. So let's go ahead and just erase this from the previous question. And let's make these calculations. So real GDP uh, is equal to nominal 22,996.1 billion. So 22,996.1 billion divided by the deflator of 118.0 times 100. And that should work out to 194.8822 times 100. That equals 19,488.22 billion dollars. So here we have real GDP for that particular year. We can go ahead and fill that in. 19,488.22 billion. So there we can see that GDP fell from 2019 to 2020 due to COVID, the lockdown, the pandemic, mandated to stay at home, reduced consumption, investment spending. So real GDP has decreased. But then as we exited the pandemic, GDP increased from 19,168.57 billion to 19,400. 88.22 billion. Okay. Um, there'll be a link to the next video. In the next video, 
we will look at percent change taking this data and can we calculate the percent change from one year to the next so that will be in the next video if you have any questions feel free to comment those questions below and don't forget to subscribe and to like thank you so much